Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we're taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions, and it's one that people have wanted in-game for a very long time. We finally got ourselves Liv Morgan, Watch Me Live. So she is a modern era acrobat. She is a coach. And mobile gems do 2200 more damage at 9k, so Bischoff, Tech Brock, Tech Bailey... Um, Showstopper Sean, help them out a bit. Link bonus, women superstar, that's just for the belt. Uh, raw, any color move, start with one more move point. Modern era, gems do 5% more damage. And just the one set of gear. So, a couple different builds we're going to look at with her. First is available at 3 star, it's double green with blue 2. So, green 1 is the Hurricane Rana 3 MP. Deal 59... 53,000, pardon me, 53,099 damage and swap a 1 by 3 random area into blue gems. Blue 2 is the running hip attack, also 3 MP, also deal 53,099 damage and swap a 3 by 1 random area into green gems. On green 2, the jumping insiguri, also 3 MP, deal 282,035 damage. And move the pin bar left by one notch. Now, at 5 star gold, it moves the pin bar left by two notches. Which will be a lot more helpful. Um, but high damage on this move and low charge, very easy recycling. So, for the preview, we're going to keep it super simple. I will have a second video. I'll do a run it back where we focus a lot more on green move damage. Um, but for the preview, I'm going to keep it to people that everyone has. So, Tech Kevin Owens and Tech Goldust for 45% more damage uh, for green moves, so that's 90. Acro J for 10% more to green moves as well. Just going to keep that open for now. And the belt. I'm going full Fury just because. Um, too lazy to change it up. But you really don't... A takedown would be great, obviously. Uh, my green move medal is a flat 50k. And have some substats there. Gotta run the Honky Tonk Blues plate, so whenever you break three or more green gems, get three blue move points at the end of your turn. This is going to mean that we only need to hit these two moves, which for the pin bar is going to be really helpful. And we're going to go against Lita. So let's see what this looks like. It's a pretty cool entrance. It's pretty cool. So we're going to hit this move first. Uh, 574,386 damage. Basically going to jump and kick her in the face and take a third of her health. Hit the running hip attack. Honky Tonk Blues Plate kicks in, which means this is ready to go. Hit the jumping in Sigiri again. Hit the running hip attack again. Basically just cycle between these two moves. Or we could cascade. That works too. One. These two moves are going to recycle each other, so... We can do that until... We get the pin. But basically the... Ow! That wasn't necessary. Uh, but basically the logic behind this move is just to move the pin bar towards you so you can cycle these moves a little more and do a move damage focus. 
So we can hit this now. And she has no health, so now we're just going to move the Pinbar double. And because these two moves cycle, recycle each other super well, it's um, fairly easy to get a pin. But this plays very similar to Acro Charlotte's Big Boot, but does, um, you'll see in the second video, I'll put a 200% metal on, she does about double the damage. Um, so debate between who is faster, Charlotte or Liv, I would say it's a good problem to have. And either are good. So let's take a look at a completely different build. Four star build is going to bring in the finisher and the two black moves. So the finisher is Oblivion, 10 MP, deal 132,188 damage, destroy nine random black gems and pin the opponent. Black one, the ripcord knee strike, 5 MP, deal 63,590 damage and make all blue gems into multiply gems of strength four. And black to the middle rope missile drop kick, 5 MP, deal 60,187 damage and choose five gems to make into blue gems. So I saw this and got super stoked. Merrick's probably saw this and cried. I'm totally kidding. I don't know if he cried, but this to me screams slick Rick method. So we're going to use Bray for more black MP. NXT Seth for more blue gems, Afa and King Seamus for more blue gem damage. If you don't have King Seamus, uh, Santa Hogan works just as well. And for the belts, uh, Full Fury with substats focusing on blue gem damage. Uh, this one is maxed out at 30%. Brought in a blue percent. Not sure if we honestly even need it because I doubt we'll be hitting the finisher. Uh, bad attitude plate. Whenever you break three or more blue gems, get three black blue points at the end of your turn, just in case something happens. Um, I do have tour perks, uh, level five of six. So starting with two more MP and charge up by one, but at five MP, it doesn't really matter for the black moves. And, uh, I'm going to go do two different methods with this. I'm going to do the connect the dots method, and then I'm going to do the slick Rick method. So let's see how those look. So, the connect the dots method would obviously be more ideal if we had more blue gems on the board. Uh, Tech Rhea as a coach would give you that. Basically, you turn everything into blue gems. And then, like the name suggests, you connect the dots. Just make sure to match all of uh, all your blue gems. And everything is loaded up, ready to go. Th really? That kept her down? Alright. Well, that's one way to do it. And let's take a look at the other way. Okay, and now for the other method. And our setup is not the most ideal in terms of blue gems on the board, but what you want to do is... Oh, this is... This is gross looking, I'll be completely honest. I don't like this at all, uh, but I can make it work. Ew, no, I can't. Hold on. Yes, I can. Basically what you want to do is make yourself a four match to swipe into that's going to break these two and drop these into four matches that will destroy the row. Um, I prefer to go bottom up because you could cascade and get a wild card here instead of destroying the, the rows. You could get a wild card and get a, I'll do a five match instead.
So those are 57,000, and then you swipe into it. So it worked out that time. So 800,000 at five silver. Um, in a feud with offensive perks, those are gonna be base of time six, and you're gonna get three extra blue gems as well. Uh, so that'll really help set it up again. I'm gonna do this one more time just to see if we can go bottom up. And actually, what I'm gonna do is... Uh, stats. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, we're gonna take off King Seamus, and I'm gonna put on Tech Rhea. Wherever she may be. I'm gonna see if I can get a good amount of uh blue gems on the board. There we go. And that'll hopefully make the Slick Rick method a little easier and give us a little more to work with. So let's try that. Nah. <laughs> I mean, I can... I can work with it. I can work with it. So, it, normally I'd put a blue gem up here, but um, if I put a blue gem there, it's going to break. We can at least get a three match this way. It does take a little while to get used to placing the gems. Um, I used Slick Rick for a very long time. So I'm, um, I'm used to it. But it's not a play style that is just like super, I guess, easy. But once you're able to visualize it, it can hit for a lot. So let's... I'm going to do that one more time. Gem modifier. And you can use mat. Let's make those times six. And it'll just be a turn slower. Um, well, of course, there's all the blue gems, right? Okay. And even then, this is not super ideal again. It's just a nice old cluster. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm just gonna do that and set myself up for a better turn too, I think. But this also shows that, you know, what happens when you don't get a good board and you have to struggle bus it a little bit. This is good. One, two, three, four. Where this is going to break, so you want to put the two here. And then we have one more, so just put it up there, because that's going to break. So 12,000. Make them into multiply gems of strength six. So now there's 72, and you swipe. And she dodged. Amazing. Amazing! Does not fail to disappoint. Finally set it up perfectly, and she dodges. Color me shocked. But hey, we can hit the finisher now. We can at least look at it. It looks cool. I'm not super familiar with Liv Morgan, so that's... A fun little like middle rope DDT, I guess. Anyways, our finisher is charged and it reloaded our black moves. So, what happens if it doesn't go perfectly? Well, the finisher reloads everything for you. 
Ain't nothing wrong with that. And we can try to set ourselves up for... <laughs> nothing. Oh, no, we can... Okay, we can go that way. Trust me, the slick merc method is, like, super good. Here's what happens when it doesn't work at all. That's me. That's what I sound like. Alright. She didn't dodge that one. Anyways, that's the slick Rick method. A couple times over. I mean, damage-wise, probably better to just connect the dots if you want, if you're interested in speed. Like, for feuds, unless you can play some fast. I don't know. They're both strong. Uh, let's take a look at something else. So, now we're going to take a look at the five-star move, and it's a reversal, 6 MP, and I'm not, if you've been watching my content for a bit, you'll know I'm not a huge fan of needing to be pinned to do damage. Like, I'd rather win on turn one. Uh, but if you need a safeguard, you got a really beefy one. Uh, so the reversal is deal 574,441 damage, kick out of pin, and swap 11 random gems into black gems. Gems broken during kickout do not have any effect, cannot kick out when in danger. So, I've gone back to my original entourage for the 4-star build. Brave for more black MP, Seth for more blue gems, Afa and King Seamus. I've kept the belt the same with the blue percent and the, bl and the bad attitude. So, we got the reversal hitting for 1.3 mil. So, uh, let's see. So with her move defense, 1.23 million. So this, I mean, it, it helps if you are trying to do like the slick Rick thing and she dodges or something else goes horribly wrong. It gives you an out. Going up against an opponent who pins a lot. That works too. But as you can see, no need to use it. And I don't really like sitting here and swiping until we're pinned to use it. So that's the reversal. Now you know. And let's take a look at one more build with her. So the last build we're going to take a look at is a uh, triple blue. So the finisher, the running hip attack, and the kick out. Uh, we're going to focus on blue move damage for this. So Darren Young and Sami Zayn each adding 45%. Um, if you have Hall of Fame Honky Tonk Man, if you have Otis, if you have Gooker, uh, those would be the coaches to use here. I'm not going to use them in the preview video just because I know they're not super accessible. Uh, but we are going to keep that blue percent. And the trick to this one is going to be the Honky Tonk Blues plate. Because the running hip attack is a 3 MP move that makes a 3 by one into green. So with the plate, it's going to give us 3 blue MP every time we hit it. Uh, we got the finisher at 427,000. We have the kick out at 1.85 mil. Um, so maybe not the most, like, effective way to run her, but, uh, fun. So let's, let's see what this does. So 403, one, 1.75 mil on the reversal. And basically you're gonna hit for 160k or more if it crits. Plate's gonna trigger, load our kick out. Plate's going to trigger. Hit this again. We're going to pin. 
plate's gonna trigger <laughs> and load everything up again. So that's the fun with the MP plates. Uh, she didn't pin us. And we can basically just keep hitting this over and over until we think the finisher will pin her, like, and keep her down. Or we could just drain all her health. Oh no! Oh good, okay. That should finish her. That's such a cool move. I really like that. Anyways, that's the triple blue. Uh, load up on blue move damage, that could be a lot of fun. And the Honky Tonk Blues plate is going to be clutch for that. And again, not sure if I'd use it outside of the other two builds, um, but still doable. So let's uh, let's go ahead and wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Liv Morgan, Watch Me Live. Uh, very strong. Let me close the sidebar there, scuff streamer. I know. Uh, very strong, multiple builds, um, multiple high damage builds. Uh, let me know what you think. It's uh, We finally got Liv. They made her really good. Uh, let me know in the chat your favorite build, your favorite setups. Um, she's obtainable in air quotes this weekend in Showdown. Uh, let me know if you're going to try to get her in the loot. Um, she's very, very good. Um, if you pull her from a bag, you're in a good position with your women's roster. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments. And thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend. Deep, 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 deep.